All right, we're back. We're still on page 186. We're talking about now moving an object from a point to another point. This is like a big deal in my opinion because this is what I've always wanted to do with these sorts of things. I want to make things move. I want to make them move in ways that I'm controlling. Um, it's pretty neat. Uh, if you get into a little bit of basic programming, I would definitely recommend that you check out processing. So processing, it's like P-R-O-C-E-S-S-I-N-G dot uh, probably org, I guess. Processing is this really cool program you can use uh, for like some basic coding stuff. Check out the coding train uh, to learn some of the basics of it. Parametric equations are essential for the kind of like, it's like an intersection of math and art type of situation. Uh, parametrics, you're gonna need them to really make a lot of things happen. It's very cool, it's a good way to practice this stuff. Recommended. Um, so let's see, we want, so in the last video we were, we were moving an object from three eight to nine negative four. Now in this question, we want to move from nine negative four back to three eight, which uh, on the surface is like not that bad, right? So what I could just do is I could say that, uh, I'm gonna write them over here and then move them. Uh, delta X has to be negative six and delta Y has to be positive 12. So if I use these, let's go. Um, if I use these, I could just say that my equation is, all right, so X is going to start at nine and Y is going to start at negative four. And then uh, let's say minus six T and plus 12 T and then zero to one. All right, totally fine. This is totally fine. It's going to do it. It's going to go when t is equal to zero, you just get nine negative four. When t is equal to one, you get uh, three from here and you get eight from here. So you've done it. The issue that I have with this, and it's not a big issue, but the issue I have with this is that to get from three, eight to nine negative four took us zero to one. So if we're using zero to one again, what's really happening? It's not like the same object going from here to here and then here to here, it's like we have two objects that are just going like this. We don't really want that, or I don't really want that. So what I would prefer is to somehow fix this. So what I really want, so this is, it's like fine. This is, this is fine, let me, let me say. This is okay, not great, don't settle, you know? Um, so what I'd rather is this. So it's going to be nine, negative four. You can't, it's got to be minus six. Well, it doesn't, it, we're going to say for the purposes of this, it's got to be minus 60. It doesn't really need to be minus 60. It could be, uh, minus like 12 T as long as the ratios are right. And then you have to think a lot more and we don't want to do that right now. Uh, minus 60 plus, okay, well, hold on, minus six. And then this will be plus 12. Now, we don't want these to take effect until t equals 1. So I don't want it to take effect until t equals 1. So what I'm going to do is just slide it back, t minus 1, and then t minus 1. And then I'm going to make this go from 1 to 2. Now think about what happens. When t is equal to 1, this gives me 0. This gives me 0. So I just get 9, negative 4. That's where I want to be when t equals 1. When t equals 2, this is going to be 1. So I get 9 minus 6, which is 3. I get uh, negative 4 plus 12, which is 8. These are going to work. So what I want to do is let's try to get GeoGebra to do it. Let's try to get it to go from, let me highlight this. Let's try to get it to go from 3, 8 to 9, negative 4, and then from nine negative four back to three eight. Let's see if we can like make that a, a useful thing. So we're gonna try this. And I don't know, it's been a while since I did this, so we'll see. All right, step one, click here so that it doesn't like obscure that first line. Let's put our points, three, eight, and you may already have a GeoGebra sketch uh, with some of this stuff. If so, like feel free to use it. We have this. All right, so our first curve is gonna take us Let's create a slider, it's called T. Um, T is one, and we're gonna have T go from zero to two because that's kind of what we're trying to accomplish here. All right, curve, 
three plus six V. So I'm doing the one that's going to go from three, eight to nine, negative four, and then eight minus 12 T 12 V. I already know this one's going to work because we, we did it. Right. So let me zoom out a bunch. All right. So if I put a point on there, if I just do a of, uh, so I'm supposed to do a of T. Let's just do A of T. We'll work out what's happening as we go. Hit play. It's going to go. It's going a little slowly. You could like increase the speed. And you can see it like goes way past. All right. Uh, so let's do our second curve, which we're saying is 9 minus 6, the quantity V minus 1, comma, 8 minus 6, the quantity V minus 1. V is the parameter. And we want to go from 1 to 2. Okay, so this is a failure. Why is this? Oh, why did I use eight? Um, negative four. Four. Okay, hold on. What am I doing? Nine minus six times v minus one. Negative four plus twelve. Holy cow. Plus twelve. Um, v minus. Okay, so this is still a failure. But let's see. Negative four. All right. Whew. That went poorly. All right, so this is our second curve. It's doing it. All right, so should I put a point on that? Let's see, let's do V of T. All right, so let's, let's see. Is there some way that we can merge them? So we got this. Okay, so let's create another point. Let's get rid of this point. Get rid of, I'm not really getting rid of them. I'm just kind of like hiding them right now. I'm using if statement. So I'm going to say if t is between 0 and 1, what I want you to do is a of t. Otherwise, I want you to do b of t. I think this is going to work. So it's if this thing is true, do this. Otherwise, do this. It's if, then, else. So if t is between 0 and 1, then do a of t otherwise or else do b of t. I'm gonna press enter. All right, that's point E. Let's go back to zero and let's hit play. So zero to one and then one to two. And we got this. All right, that worked. That's like actually pretty exciting. I mean, I, my reaction was probably less enthusiastic than you would like. Um, probably other ways to do this. Uh, I think that's a good one though. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna do the, the next problem because I think that we can get it done in like not too much, you know what, maybe not. I mean, I'm still gonna, hold on, we're still going back. Um, Yeah, let's just do it, do it. Here we go, all right. So we're gonna go from nine, eight to nine, 20. So think about your delta x there. Delta x is nine minus nine, it's zero. X isn't changing. So like, do you have to write plus zero t? Not really. I think it's actually a good idea. I'm a big fan of like making things look like the form that you expect them to look like, um, but it's up to you. And then eight, so I need to add 12. So delta y is 12. Okay, so I'm gonna say x, y. So I'm gonna actually say nine plus zero t. As t changes, add nothing to t, uh, to nine. As t changes, add nothing to nine. I'm gonna write that. You might just write x equals nine. It's fine, either way. Uh, then I have to start at 8 and do plus 12t, and then go to 0. So this, where you do like just straight up delta x, straight up delta y, later on in Calc 3, you do a lot of this, and you always do this. Every one of your things will be like uh, from 0 to 1, pretty much. But what if you're uh, a, a more distinguished person? You might say uh, 9 plus 0t, let's say 8 plus... Uh, I don't know, 20, let's say 36 T, right? We're going three times as fast. So it should take one third as long because I just want to add 12. So that'll work. And it, like you can play around with that, put them in GeoGebra and make it happen. And you'll know if you got it right. So I'm going to stop the video here, come back in the next one, kind of generalize this in case you're struggling to generalize it. Um, and I will see you there.